Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for taking your time to watch my video today. In my video today, I want to talk about the problems of Abel Damina. Now, I, I've been excited, you know, hearing a Nigerian preacher, you know, preaching against prosperity gospel, preaching uh, salvation by grace through faith, you know, you are saved forever. I, I have been excited, you know, uh, concerning uh, this man. But recently, I began to have so many, you know, doubts, and you know, uh, I began to see so many clips that he made some uh, theological blunders, and he made some uh, erroneous statements, and he was kind of boasting about it. It wasn't a slip of tongue. It wasn't something that, it wasn't a mistake. I know that as a preacher, sometimes you say something that is a mistake, but it, it, it was, it was, it was something that, you know, he was proud, uh, you know, he was puffed up about the statements that he made. And in this channel, we'll be talking about all these statements and we'll be debunking them with the scripture. So, in the book of Isaiah chapter 8 verse 20, 20, Isaiah chapter 8 verse 20, the Bible tells us that to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. One of the things that every believer should understand is that the Bible should be our final authority. I'm not saying you should not respect men of God. I'm not saying you should not respect preachers, your pastor. I'm not saying that. But there is something that you need to get right. You need to understand that your preacher can be wrong. Your pastor can be wrong. You should always double check everything with the word of God. Now, the problems of Ebed Damina, I'm going to share some things with you. Uh, what I think the problem of Ebed Damina is. Number one, I can see Ebed Damina thinks that he's speaking extra biblical revelation. Now, Ebed Damina, you have to be very careful of him when you are listening to him. He thinks that whenever he speaks, he's speaking extra biblical revelation. Now, he's from it, he's, he's, a, he's a charismatic, and he still believes those you know, charismatic speaking in tongues and you know visions and dreams and everything. Whenever he speaks, he speaks as if he's speaking extra biblical revelation, something that has not been revealed in the scripture. And whenever you try, to speak extra biblical revelation, it is either you are lying, it is either you are discrediting the word of God, and, I mean, it is either you are saying things that are not scripturally or that are not I mean, things that are not consistent with the God, I mean, with the scripture. So it, it, it will come down to that point that you know you are saying things that are not scriptural and consistent with the word of God. So be very careful, you know, with uh, with Ebed Damina. Whenever he speaks, thinking that he's speaking extra biblical revelation. Another thing I wanted to consider is that Ibn Damina wowed the audience without, without thinking about what he's saying. I have listened to him. He tries to, you know, to, you know, to wow the audience. Let us think about some things. Where is heaven? He tries to, you know, to arouse the attention and that is sensational, you know, that is fleshly, you know, I mean, trying to arouse the audience by using some theological terms that are not even right or that are out of context is very dangerous things to do. So, I mean, Damina, whenever he preaches, he tries to wow the audience so that, you know, they would think that is also a great one, all right? So, we have to be very careful of that. Uh, the Bible tells us in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 2. And I'm going to read from verses 1, 4, and 5. The Bible says, And I, brethren, when I came to you, came not with the excellency of speech or of wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of God. I wanted to look at verse 4. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit, and of power. Now, I wanted to look at in demonstration of the Spirit, the word that you are speaking, it should be consistent with the scripture because 
the spirit will testify of Christ and the spirit will, may we unite the truth. If what you are speaking is not consistent, regardless of whatsoever you might be communicating, it is not going to be acceptable in the sight of God and it is not going to be right. So we need to be consistent. And now look at verse 5, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of of God in the power of God so I believe that you know in trying to wow the audience is making a lot of blunders things that are not biblical that are not consistent with the scripture so I mean that things that is speaking extra biblical revelation even I mean that tries to wow the audience without thinking whether is consistent with the scripture or not and the last one even I mean that displays knowledge without love. Ebed Damina displays knowledge without love. The Bible makes us to understand that, you know, knowledge puffed up, but love edifies. So whenever you are ministering, you must have knowledge with love, okay? In the course of this series, we'll be looking at some of the things that he has said that are not biblical, and if only people we read Bible and they will pay attention. They will, uh, they, they will see what I'm saying. I and mean, it takes someone with designing spirit. Now, designing spirit is ability to tell what is good from what is relatively good. So the one, I mean, the ability to tell I me mean, to tell the one that is good from the one that is closer to the good is the designing spirit and the word of God. We tell you, we show you how to design this spirit. That is why the Bible says in the book of 1 John chapter 4, verse 1, the Bible says we should try the spirit, we should test the spirit, we should prove the spirit. The problems with Ibn Damina is examine. You be the one to judge yourself. Thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. <laughs>